For this problem, we're integrating from zero to three, and what we're doing here is um, we're wrapping this around the x-axis and finding all the air, the volume it covers. So it's going to be pi r squared, because if you ever remember, like, and oh, well, excuse me, and then delta x. So if you ever remember, like, you know, finding area, well, I didn't really draw it correctly, but um, <laughs> but the area volume of like a part of a you know, washer shell or, or a solid, a solid washer with no hole in the middle. So pi is going to be here and that's going to be negative X squared plus four X squared. This is your radius. If you look here, you know, this is, this, this, that's why we put this equation here. Cause this is your radius here. That's what's going to determine it. All right. So next up we're going to integrate. So integrating from zero to three, negative x squared plus four. Oh, I got to um, multiply this out. So we end up with x to the fourth minus eight x cubed plus 16 x squared dx. And then what we end up with when we integrate is, um, I can keep the constant out front, uh, x to the fifth over five minus two x to the fourth um, plus three, 16 over three X cubed from zero to three. So, um, when you multiply by three, we get pi, we get 243 because that's, um, three cubed over five minus three to the fourth, 81 times 162. And then 27 divided by three is nine times 16, which is 144. And then what we end up with is 153 pi over five. That's what it simplifies down to and it's approximately equal to 96.1. All right, I hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching, have a great day.